Hey, this is Awesome Cake from TN Gaming, and I'm playing Mountain Blade Warband. For this first episode, I figured I would talk about some game basics, and also some further plans for this series. What you're seeing now is the very beginning of the single player. For demonstration, I will do all of the tutorial missions. For people who are used to this game, I would advise you to jump in at a later part of the series. The man who I'm going to talk to is the Merchant of Praven. He's the one giving me all the tutorial missions. I call them tutorial missions, but the truth is, they're pretty much like the other missions in this game. The main plot of this mission is to save his brother who got kidnapped by bandits. To do so, he gives me the Nars, which are the currency in this game, and asks me to go and recruit some soldiers. Soldiers are recruited from villages and can be upgraded several times. You can upgrade different soldiers to fit different roles. For example, you can upgrade some soldiers to be archers and others to be melee infantry. Others can be cavalry. For those interested in the strategy part of this game, you can set your units into groups and use rather advanced tactics. Though the tactic part does have its flaws. But now, finally it's time to recruit some soldiers. I'm just going to go to the local villages for recruits. What you're seeing now is the world map. It's fairly large and has a lot of villages, castles and towns. Every single one belonging to a faction. There are six factions in the game, each and every one having their pros and cons. At the moment I'm in Swedia, which has strong cavalry and all in all rather balanced units. As you can tell I have now engaged in battle with some looters. Looters are probably the weakest opponents you face in this game and can be dealt with very easily even though I play quite bad. Well, in fact, I play awfully. From a scale of 1 to 10, my combat skills are probably below 3. Actually, quite far below 3. But enough about me being bad. As you can see, the battle is very easy, and I'm not even bothering to command my soldiers, and instead I just charge right in. To be honest, this fight is not very entertaining, so instead, I'll switch to some music. And for some weird reason, I thought classical music and killing was a nice combination. Well, anyways, as you can see, I won the battle quite easily, and now I can take some of their items, and of course, I take all their cash. I can equip their armor, and I'll take some other pieces to sell. Now, all I have to do is finish my mission. I've already been to one village, and I'm now going to ride on to the next one. I'm rather lucky, and a lot of soldiers want to join my army, so I head back to Praven to pick up the next mission. The next mission is gathering info about where the merchant's brother is held. To do this I have to question some local bandits, and by question I mean almost kill them. It's a very simple fight, and it's quite unfair for them, 
since I outnumber them by a lot. I'll use this chance to talk about some further plans for the series. In Mountain Blade, you can join an existing faction. This is quite simple, but what I'm planning to do is making my own faction. This is very hard and will most likely take a lot of time. But I figured it would be an entertaining struggle to watch. So what I'm planning to do is, well, firstly, get a lot of money. Because you can't fund the rebellion without huge amounts of cash. After that, I of course need an army. It is something I've never done before, and personally, I'm really excited about the idea. But tell me what you think. Please, tell me in the comment section. Well anyways, now all that's left is to finish this simple fight and I'll move on to the final stage of the pre-quests. Well actually, it's not the final stage, but uh, it's probably the most excited one because I have to launch an, well, an assault on the kidnapper base. The bandits tell me that the brother is held in a hideout close to the charming village of Kisim. There is no way I'm pronouncing that properly. Well, my mission is obviously to go there and save him. So once again, there will be some travel time. And by the way, I kinda messed up there and went back into Praven. But you don't have to do that, you can just go straight to the hideout. In my opinion, uh, perhaps the only boring part of this game is all the travel time. Because uh, it's not like you can quick travel or something, it's all in one map. Sure, take some time. Well, at least soon I'll arrive at the hideout where we'll have to fight and try to free the brother. Finally, we're there. When you attack a hideout, only a small amount of your army can join. This makes it a bit harder, since you actually have to do most of the work. That's just a good thing. The terrain of the battle depends on where the hideout is located. There are no cavalry in hideouts, and everyone has to fight without their mounts. There will be more enemies attacking than soldiers you have with you. Personally, I love attacking hideouts. It's more exciting, well, at least in my opinion it is. However, if you lose the battle, the hideout will disappear, so you better win it. Now enjoy the rest of the battle. I rescued the merchant's brother and I took all their items. Now all that's left to do is to go back to Praven and pick up the last mission. I have leveled up to level 2, so now I get one more attribute, one more skill and 10 more weapon points. I'm going to spend them all of course. Back in Praven, I talk to the merchant once again. He gives me a new mission. In this mission, you fight in the streets of the town versus looters. This is another great example of how easy looters are to kill.
I think I'll let you enjoy this fight with some more classical music. Wasn't that dramatic? A lovely piece of old Norwegian music. Well anyways, what happened was the king didn't like the merchant disrupting the peace, and the merchant had to leave town. However, the merchant also told me that the king might have some jobs for me in the near future. Or perhaps one of his opponents do. But that was all for now. Episode 2 coming up soon. Subscribe if you don't want to miss it. And have a lovely day. This was Austin Craig from TN Gaming with my Mountain Blade Warband walkthrough.